Hey, River. I think I got it. Found something? Not yet. Anthony Harris. Let's try these drawers. Say, River, why not just have a janitor crack a door for you? Can't risk getting scolded for sniffing around somebody else's River. case. Yo, What are you doing here? You got kicked off the force. Just suspended, actually. What does she mean by that? He hasn't told you? Yawen, please, listen to me. Aren't you in enough trouble already? Harris kidnapped my nephew. I'm sorry. Really, I am. But we store evidence here. And we have strict protocols. Protocols? I'm talking about his nephew's life here. A child's life. This is an ongoing police investigation. Go. Please. Get out Can't now. leave without Peter Pan's dreams. I'll say it one last time. Out! Damn it, Yawen. Who the fuck do you think you are? Remember your first med school exam? You know the one. Passed it with flying colors. Gotta remember it. Ladies' room erupted in flame. They evacuated everybody for two hours. I cannot believe you would throw that in my face. I never wish to see you here again. Especially you. You don't know him well, do you? This man is a bastard. River and I get along. We're friends. Hasn't let me down yet. Huh. I thought us friends too. Is that why you're refusing to help him out? Harris is dream beady. Where is it? He isn't dreaming. What? Why? A bullet damaged his cerebral cortex. We get only dissonant urges. Pieces. I'd like Try to... Try audiovisual stimulation. But he isn't on the spectrum. A favorite song or movie helps you reach the kids. Might be worth a try. I am aware of the similarity. Hypothalamus stimulation and hormone production. But Harris is not a child. I have never tried the procedure on an adult. Let's try it. We don't even know his preferences. I'll find something. Does that mean you're willing to try? Just go. I'll open the front door for you. Let's ride, V. I know exactly where to start. Say, by the way, what do you know about biochips? Arasaka's relic in particular. Well, it's designed to store a person's neural engram. Uh, sorry. Just imagine copying over a person's memories and personality. Right, I get that. More curious what happens if the stored engram overwrites the engrams of the chip carrier. Overwrite? I... I'm not even sure that's possible. Why do you ask? Nah, never mind. Not a big deal. Thanks.
Okay. I'm here. Lost your badge. Didn't tell me about it. Why? I don't know. Makes you a bit of a leadhead, don't it? <laughs> that it do. It's just, um... Uh, it's not easy for me to talk about when it's biting at my ass. Fair enough. Could tell me where we're headed, though. To Joss's. Randy's mom. She thinks he just ran away from home. For now, keep the kidnapping between us. You gonna tell me why we aren't trying to find Harris's apartment? That's a house. I doubt he's keeping his victims in his basement. And besides, we are trying. Wanna see if we can find some connection to Harris at Randy's. Pretty weak lead. Best we can hope for just now. Not worried Yawin's gonna toe the line? Rat you out to her superiors? Used to be friends. Doubt she'd do that. Plus, not that I'd use it, but I do know one skeleton she'd prefer remain tucked in her closet. You think Yawin will actually help us? All things considered? Yeah. These tiffs of ours always end up the same way. I'll tell you about it over a beer sometime. Sign me up. We find Randy, and we find the bottoms of a few bottles. It'll be my pleasure. Been a while. He used to come over every weekend. Time to go. And changed it all since. Places like this never change. Lovely neighborhood. Huh. River. You either got business with me or news about my Randy. Wouldn't drag your butt out here if you didn't. Joss, meet V. So V, is this about my Randy? Randy's been taken. Why didn't you call? Joss, I... Uh... Throw a blanket over the truth, like always. Police caught the guy, but he caught a bullet and he's in a coma, being watched. But where's Randy? We're looking, Joss. Here? Arguing's not gonna help anyone. He's my child. You got no place telling me how to behave. Joss. Listen, we need to look through Randy's things. Why? To find any lead we can. Trust me, Joss. Just don't destroy anything. Randy doesn't like it when anyone pokes through his stuff. Let's go, V. The kids are playing outside. 
Tell him it's time to eat. What's on your mind? It's good she learned the truth. That's the trailer. Eyes peeled for details, eh? Uncle River! Monique! Dorian. Hey, guys. Is this your partner? Just a friend. You gonna stay over? We'll see. Your mom's waiting for you at dinner. trailer. Randy moved in when I bought him a new one. Real hellhole. Like in my good old days. You check around, I'll check the trash. Drugs? Let's not go there. Hmm. Society's fault. years we measured the kids. Tainted Overlord. Favorite band. You know him well. He used to send him an album every year for his B-Day. Left his favorite hoodie in the closet. Locked. Know where the key might be? Nope. Expensive tech. Randy had the scratch for this? You're joking. Chance Randy could afford hardware like this. Way too pricey. We gotta get in, but I doubt anyone knows the password. Can you crack it? Come on, V. Let me give it a shot. Eureka. Help me scour this, will you? Something deeply fucked about that cartoon. My skin's crawling. They caught Harris in a vehicle like that. Blockaded street. Shit, River. I remember that day. He lives close to an old school. Natalie must have been the only person Randy trusted. Can we view this page with a link? True angel of empathy, this guy, huh? This guy baited Randy like a pro. If 
Figured out Randy's identity. Sent him the game as a present. River, do you... Are you seeing what I'm seeing? No. There's no way. Why would he do that? Not only did they agree to meet, but it looks like Randy was as excited as any kid on his way to a theme park. Fuck. This creep definitely scrambled Randy's head. Some kind of link. The one Randy wrote about? Let's find out. Hidden page set up by Anthony Harris. Christ. I'm gonna be sick. Hey, there look. was a file here. Maybe this deleted, looks like. But the name's still there. That's that name. It wasn't the video file I mean, must have downloaded something. Sure, but V, don't you get it? This could be the key to Harris's mind. Here's hoping. Hey, uh, can you use any of that Netrunner magic to shake anything else out of this? Who tried to pin Anthony's IP address? Got it. Freddy can't do much more, though. Perfect. That cartoon, River. Could be what we've been looking for. You said yourself we needed something to get Harris to dream. Send it to Yawin. Right. Sending it now. Okay. Says she'll get back to me by morning. And that I am a son of a bitch.
Listen, let's not worry Joss more than we need to, huh? We're hot on the trail. We'll know more tomorrow. That's it. Dorian, please. But it really tastes like boogers! Joss, we're finished. All done. Off to bed, then. We left some for you, Uncle River. Thanks, Monique. Tell me you found something. No more tomorrow. I sent some evidence to the lab. There's a chance we could know where to find Randy by morning. When's the last time you ate? Yesterday. Have mine. I'm not hungry. Thanks. Maybe later. Now you? No bullshit. Don't look at my brother, just tell me. Will you find my boy? River's a hell of an investigator. Randy's as good as found. Won't give up until I do, Joss. Joss, you mind if V takes Randy's trailer for the night? No. Sure. Stay in, right? You gotta help me see this through. To the end. Of course I'll stay. Find your way all right? Yup. Gonna hit the sack soon. Can't be easy raising three kids on your own. Well, it wasn't any easier with my husband. In fact, the best days were when he didn't come home. There were times I wished he'd disappear for a month, just to not have him hang around. That bad, huh? His bike in the highway. That was his world. But at home... Let me tell you a story. This one time he took Dorian into the city. Had some errand to run, just father and son. He came back that night, dead-ass drunk. Raging at me for calling the cops on him. Did you? River found him in some dive and brought Dorian home. Must have been a relief then, when he left. For weeks, I cried every night. My husband was killed. The father of my children. I'm... I'm sorry. Randy changed. He locked up. Not to mention the other two I still had to raise. Life was rough with him and without him. Sometimes there's no solution. How'd he die? Thale de Caldos told me he died an honorable death. Whatever the hell that means. They showed me his body, where his face used to be. Couldn't see the honor in that. Let's, um, change the subject. Hang in there, Joss. V, wake up. <sighs> Not done sleeping. Yawin called. It worked. The cartoon. He's dreaming. You, you got the BD. Right here. Slot it in. Jack into the computer. I want to see it on the monitor. That dock of yours is quick. Not bad. What's the matter with you, Anthony? I have to report this. 
I hope you understand that. And that's no evil happen. We're back in here. What's the matter with you, Anthony? I have to report this. I hope you understand that. This isn't normal behavior. What's the matter with you, Anthony? I have to report this. I hope you understand that. This isn't normal behavior. Anthony, you killed Liam's turtle. He was sick. He wouldn't eat, stayed in his shell. I just wanted to help him. By injecting him with HGH? What were you thinking? Is this something your father taught you? Good people took you in, extended their trust. This is how you repay them? Your friend died. I understand. But that is no excuse. Fuck you. What did you just say? Okay, I've had enough. The principal's gonna hear about this. Your foster parents, too. I see. Like father, like son. We know the general area where Harris lived. Guess that'd be that. Don't. Trophy. Old one. Dated from 2042. First place in an interscholastic wrestling tournament. Don't you dare talk about my dad! That's right, you little shit. I know it all. Farm failed. Dad put a bullet in his head. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! You can't talk about my dad, you... you prick! You... you can't! You... you can't! He... he was sick! Weak! I just wanted to help him. What's the matter with you, Anthony? I have to report this. I hope you understand that. This isn't normal behavior. Anthony, you... Hey. 
Anthony, you killed Liam's turtle. Looks like a cattle bioscanner for checking vitals. <sighs> Got no way to ID him. Kid's father was a real hard ass. Harris looks even younger here. in the feed for disease-free livestock. That'd be that.
This might be the place, V. It's a recent memory. Gotta be his hideout. Got some cables. Got a clock, an hour to midnight. Looks like Peter Pan turned this farm into a goddamn final bastion. Must have been an auto shop or something here at some point. Hearing what I'm hearing? Trash barge. That's the signal the dump. Has to be a landfill nearby. Me. He treats the kidnapped boys like cattle. Look. Another. Don't see Randy anywhere. Fire department search stamp right here. City South. Perfect. Terminal controls the pens. Gotta be another deck somewhere for the mines and turrets. The machine controls an injection system for stimulants, hormones, something. Signage on the farm model points to Petrochem. And where are you up to, Mike? Hey, the illuminated towers, promoting the Us Cracks album that came out then. The colors changed every hour. I think that might be it. Not so sure, River. I think we ought to explore a bit more. Okay. Let's go with your gut. That's gotta be all she wrote in this one. Probably right. Okay. Come here, you rascal. You'll hurt yourself. Tony will take good care of you. Easy now. Okay, so where do we sit now exactly? We know Harris still lives near an old school that's now underwater. You can see the NC skyline and the Us Cracks towers from the farm. 
It's a few miles out. Farm's located near a landfill. We know that too. Harris's IP places him outside Night City, within a radius of a dozen miles or so. Those towers promoting the Us Cracks album change regularly, once an hour. So we know the time. Eleven at night. Right. And that puts the farm east of the city. Southeast, actually. Stamp on the NCFD certificate was from the southern region. Farm models a petrochem design, so that eliminates any others. Which narrows it down to Edgewood Farm. That's gotta be our place. So... we've got it. Just hope we didn't fuck it up. Come on, we gotta go. days than the NCPD accomplished in weeks. Not hard to do, but yeah, you're right. Thanks, V. For everything. We'll find him, River. <sighs> I don't know no sooner how he felt. What was eating at him? Isn't your fault. I'm his uncle, V. And I wasn't there for him. Fuck! River, this is the farm. We got it. I know. Let's get to the barn quick.
Mark, two more turrets. That's right. Gates of death. Alive? Come on, come on. Eyes open. Help's on the way. He's hanging in there. We made it. V, shut down the machine. Can't unlink Randy otherwise. Randy! 1052. I repeat, I've got a 1052 at a farm south of the city. Yes, send the fucking squad! Yeah, we're laying coordinates now. No, several, at least. Do it quick, dammit! Oh, and watch for automated defenses on the side. They're substantial. Hurry, gotta shut it off. Okay, all disconnected. Check the others. Could still be alive. Right. Dehydrated, but you're gonna be fine. Been dead a few days already. Hey, help me with Randy. Alive. Whoa, whoa, easy there, easy now. Hey, you're all right now. Help me with Randy! I'm not about to leave it like this. The horror that bastard inflicted. Can't let it go. What do you want to do? Zero him? Exactly. Squeeze the life out of him with my bare hands. Sick fuck has to die. No, River. Want that fucker's blood on my hands, too. 
appreciate your dedication, V. But this is between me and Harris. I'm gonna take him out in my own way. Amidst all this confusion. You sure you don't want help? They'll catch you. No, they won't. I'm... That is, I was a detective, remember? I know how to cover my tracks. Just remember, say the word, I'm there. You can count on me. Need a little time to myself now. But I'll remember. Hey, we're ready for evac. Are you riding along or not? Really, V. Thanks. Couldn't have done it with... Don't mention it. And holler if you change your mind. Or if you're just in the mood to holler. Poor boys. All your years. Ever seen anything like this? Eight years in the force. Nothing comes close. Beyond twist.
Thanks. It's good to see you again. Something happened? Come on. Jeff will explain everything. He's just about done prepping for the debate. I've rescheduled all his meetings out of the office today. The office meaning here, so nobody will bother us. We're talking about the um, cornerstone bother of us my doing platform. What exactly? I'm not doing a U-turn just because night court. Minute. No, I'm not sucking anyone's dick just so they can fuck me in the ass! Look, I gotta go. Make the amendments, we'll powwow later. V, glad you could make it. Jefferson? Grab a seat, please. I'll explain why I asked you to come over. We've had a break-in. Not the usual kind, though. So unusual how? A couple of days back, dead of night, something wakes me, a noise. I grab my pistol and come out of the bedroom. See a stranger. He looks like he's about to reach for it. So I pull the trigger. No idea. My head started spinning and I passed out. No trace of him the morning after. I'd like you to find him. Find out what he wanted. Why me of all people? Wouldn't you rather have a detective look into it? Prefer to use tried and tested contacts. Generally wise, I guess. Mayor Ryan's death. He couldn't quite figure that one out. But I like how you work. I know I can trust you to be thorough. Notify the badges yet? We don't want any buzz around this. No attention, whatever. You know. NCPD's full of people who like the occasional stray eddy. If we reported a break-in, the media descend on us like a swarm of locusts. No badges. Gotcha. Of course, we notified SSI about the incident. Our private security. Security look into this. Say anything? This is where things get a little weird. They claim there's no sign of a break-in or of a shot being fired. Security cams didn't record anything. Guard outside didn't see or hear anything. They suggested Jeff must have had a bad dream. Convenient answer. Liz gave security the day off, so I could call you in. What did the intruder look like? I can't remember much. He was dark. He was wearing some sort of mask. Couldn't really get a good look at him. Elizabeth didn't see him either? I slept through the whole thing. Election season takes its toll on you. Intruder take anything? Uh, break anything? Nothing missing. I haven't noticed any damage either. Jeff must have scared him off before he could do anything. Said you passed out. That's right. Just after I fired. What then? Nothing. I woke up in bed the next morning. Killer headache to boot. Any idea how you made it back to your bed? Nope. None. Elizabeth's at a loss, too. This, um, security outfit, SSI. Who are they? Been on the market the last 15 years. They have clients across the city. If memory serves, they came recommended. An acquaintance. You think SSI might be behind this? That or someone hiding behind SSI. Anyone come to mind readily? Walden Holt? He's my main rival, fighting for the same seat at the table. Holt's poll numbers have been dropping. But it could be anyone, really. Jeff has many enemies, a lot of them powerful. We could sit here naming names all day. I see. That's why I called you, V. I need you to find out. Anything else you want to tell me? Or think you maybe should? 
Nope. That about covered it. Liz? It seems like everything. It's unlikely we'll learn anything anyway. Honey, please. I'm sure Veal turns something up. So, you got all you need for now? Wouldn't mind taking a look around the apartment. Of course. Liz can give you the tour. Gotta run to a meeting. As soon as you learn anything, let me know. Come on. Let me show you around. Right behind you. We can start where Jeff spotted our uninvited guest. I have to admit, sometimes I get fed up with all of this. Politics? So far, we've managed to effectively turn down offers to work with Night Corp, Biotechnica, Arasaka. So far, you say? If Jeff can get elected without owing anybody, favors or otherwise, huh, that'd be the real victory. Jeff's office, control room, storage, and flea market crammed into one. <laughs> Tight bites. You and Jeff must be putting in serious overtime. You don't even have time to think about food, so you just order whatever's quickest. But yes, it's true, Jeff hasn't eaten anything else recently. This is Jeff's personal machine. I doubt you'll find anything on it relating to the break-in. Seems a happy fam. That your daughter? Sachi. Oh, we miss her. Her studies took her abroad. Oh, where to? Europe. An excellent school. She'll get a good education. I know it's an ocean away. But with Jeff running for mayor, it's just safer this way. Vote for Perales. We are paying the staffers and for the campaign out of pocket. And we keep all the campaign stuff here. It's cheaper that way. Wedding pig. Interesting backdrop. I wanted blue roses, so we ordered a whole truckload. <laughs> blue roses. What? Are you sure? Because the roses in this picture look pretty red to me. Oh, of course, you're right. Notice anything they didn't different have in here after the break-in? No, I don't think so. What do you have in mind? Jeff said he passed out. Anything seem out of the ordinary? The bedding, its arrangement. Any signs at all? As if he was dragged back to bed, you mean? No, I didn't notice anything. Iron. This Jeff's? Mm, mine, actually. But yes, that's the one Jeff used that night. Mind if I take a look around? Be my guest.
think we're safe putting your security at the top of our list of suspects. They violated privacy. The sons of bitches. Under my own roof. Wonder how, how long they've been keeping this from you. Too long. This ends now. I am not letting any more of those freaks set foot. Ugh. My head. Something wrong? Don't worry about me. Do what you have to do. Saw something like this back in the war. Transmitters. Militech was using them. Short-range UHF. Signal only travels line of sight, but it can't be intercepted. Line of sight? Let's look around, see if we can't spot where our receiver's camping out. Meds. Intruder make a beeline here after Jeff tagged him. Talking to yourself again? More and more. Ever since this terrorist started stalking me. Weird hardware. What's it for? These cables run. Blood stains. Not quite scrubbed clean. to the screen a lot, or to any of the others. I don't understand. What just happened a second ago? You didn't see it? No. What? Okay, never mind.
Pace wife. Remember me? Anyway, I guess it was just another day in the life for you. And me? Well, it was the end of mine. Pepe threw me out. I'm out on the street. I hope. I just hope you're proud of yourself. Looks like SSI's employees knew about the break-in.
Where were you? Definitely not your ordinary van. We're about to find out. Gonna lose him. Don't lose him, V. Oh, now you're interested. We could expose a corporal conspiracy here, V. I'm telling you. They could be corporal spies or who the fuck knows what. and see a curated display, but behind the scenes it's all out of war. Citizens don't choose their representatives. Then who? The key players. String pullers. They spy on all the paralysis, Shit. look for weak spots, blackmail, rig elections. It's canon, Johnny.
Pierced it, we're in. Couldn't ask the NCPD for better records than this. Pictures, medical records, vulnerability to neuroplasticity. Some kind of database. Brain scans, the paralysis, biological casts, neuroplasticity. Fuck. What about that? The blue shit. Fresh neural links. They're not spying on them, Johnny. They're fucking with their heads. Mean to say someone's literally controlling our upstanding politicians' minds? Mm-hmm. Red blots are memory residue in the hippocampus region. See how they're bleeding into the blue? So what are we looking at? They're planting new memories in their heads, modifying their personalities. This is big shit, Johnny. Fuck me. Got other guinea pigs besides the paralysis, too. Quick, download the data. Whoever comes looking for it. That's your suspect. Shit. They're wiping the data. We've been made. Now they know someone's been in their database. Wonder if they also know who. V. Do you have any news? Okay, you're gonna want to sit down for this. It's, um... It's way bigger than we thought. What is? You're being brainwashed. Literally. They've scanned your minds, now using some kind of conditioning to... Wait! Not on the hollow. Right, I'll come by. No. You and I... We need to speak alone. I know a little ramen place in Japantown. Sending you the coordinates. Right. See you there.
ready. You ready? Hey, will you sit? Please? Thank you for coming. Why are we meeting here and not at your pad? Because I have something to confess. In private. Not in front of Jeff. Okay. Confess away. I... I'm sorry. My nerves are shot. I can't gather my thoughts. It wasn't that long ago since we last met. Something happened since then? No. I mean, something did happen, though not recently. It's a long story. I don't quite know how to tell you. Where to even start? Relax. No need to rush. Ah. <sighs> uh, uh, a while ago, I started noticing some changes in Jeff's behavior. His personality... He seemed to be changing right in front of me. Becoming someone else. How so? He stopped reading. Forgot the title of his favorite movie? Even his musical taste changed overnight. Once, I said we should visit his brother's grave. And he told me that he'd been an only child. That's when I started thinking something bad was happening. Insidious. And not just with Jeff. Notice any changes in yourself. After some time, on several occasions, my friends pointed out that I was acting strangely. That must have been hard. It was. You know, it's at times like those you start to question reality. So the whole time, you knew what I could end up finding. I don't know who, how, or why, but they are changing us. That concealed room in our apartment, what about it? I'm sure I'd seen it before, but must have somehow forgotten. I find that terrifying. Mention any of this to Jeff? I tried. I did. But he's blinded to everything. He just laughed, said I was imagining things. He once brought up a vacation that we never went on. Swear to God. He went on about it in such detail, I almost started believing him. Could be just you who forgot. Maybe they wiped the trip from your memory. Hell, I don't know anymore. Don't you get that? You haven't told me the whole story yet, have you? I saw a stranger in our apartment one night tinkering with the monitors. But I was in such a state by then that I didn't know if I could trust my own eyes. So you didn't do anything? I don't remember what happened. I talked to security the next morning. I find it strange you took this to security instead of your husband. I thought I was going insane. I wanted to see what was on the feeds first. There was nothing there, of course, so what was I supposed to do? And then, the next day, I got a call. Who was it? Them. Whoever they are. There was a garbled voice on the other end. He never introduced himself. They threaten you, try to blackmail you. They said I was walking on thin ice. That if we kept stirring up trouble, Jeff could have an accident. Then they wiped any record of our conversation. It was as if it had never happened. So I'm begging you, V. Jefferson can't find out about any of this. Ever. His life depends on it. What if you're just saying what they programmed you to say? Just reading off a script based on thoughts planted in your head? All I know is, I love my husband, and I want him to be safe, and... and happy. But that's what they want you to know. You know what Jeff will do if you tell him? I know my husband. He'll start looking on his own. He can't find out about this. 
It... It destroyed him. You knew who sent the intruder, but just strung me along anyway, Liz. I didn't have a choice. I didn't know what to do. You wanted everything just to go on and flow on because it was convenient. Convenient? You got the perfect life. A prominent husband. You don't lack for a thing. You think I'm having fun? You have no idea what it's like, living like this. Damn it, Elizabeth. You gonna ignore this? Somebody poking around in your head? To get myself killed? Or see my husband dragged away from me? Ask me to lie to my employer. I'm going to tell Jeff that SSI was spying for his rival, Holt. You just need to confirm what I say. And if I'm not on board? You have a choice. Just remember, any consequences will not be yours to deal with. You're truly prepared to fire SSI. After the threats. It'd be brave, but risky as all get out. What they're doing to us is one thing. But when you found that concealed room, I can't accept strangers spying on us while we sleep. Not under my own roof. What difference does it make where? I'll take full responsibility for anything SSI goes on to do. I'm just asking you not to get Jefferson involved. Hmm. I'll add a meeting in Reconciliation Park to Jeff's schedule. He'll be waiting. Since I can't know if I'll remember this conversation tomorrow, I'm counting on you not to forget what I asked of you. I won't. But that's all I can promise. Goodbye, V. Whole thing's fucked up, huh? Wouldn't want to be in her pants. Speaking of, overlapping memories, changing personalities. Remind you of anything? But hey, at least we know what we're up against. No, this is different. You saw it yourself. They're purposely modifying their minds, individual thoughts. Mm-hmm. Paralysis make a damn nice next-gen puppet. Even in my day, there were whispers about this kind of stuff. Cognitive pattern fluctuators, remote neural re-networking. In layman's terms, gaslight. Subliminal TV signals, high-density emitters in your electric toothbrush, you name it. So, in my pants, what would you do? Some real rat bastards behind this. Someone's gotta take them down. Even by risking the paralysis lives. Fuck knows what kind of shit a mayor controlled by puppet masters could pull. But yeah, you could end up putting their lives at risk. Or not. Tough choice, V.
matter what you think of doing or do, you can't change anything. Uh, what? We know who you are. We know what you are. We know what you want. You are playing with fire. Don't dare cross the line. Fuck. Hello, V. Did you know last gen cybermen can damage your nervous system? Need to talk. Make sure your implant is always. Yes, I know. Elizabeth filled me in. Sounds like I was right to hire a professional. Elizabeth? What did she tell you exactly? Didn't get specific. Just that SSI was spying for that son of a bitch Holt. Guess you got more, though. An oasis of elegance for those who crave perfection. SSI wasn't working for Holt. You're in deeper Just shit than you Gucci. think. Meaning? Heaven is for broods and squares. They're in your heads, Jefferson. Yours and Elizabeth's. This some kind of chuckle-worthy metaphor? Strange dreams, partial recall, jumbled memories. It's not just stress and long hours. I don't know what you're trying to tell me, but I don't think I like where this is heading. Wake up! Your brain's a mess. Messier than the discount section of a BD smut hut. I'm not paying you to make up riddles for me, so get to the point. SSI's on the take for some unknown group that's out to control your lives. You know there's a concealed room in your pad? Out with it. They've got tech in there you wouldn't believe. These people know everything about you and your wife. They're watching your every move. <sighs> Somebody's hijacked your life, and reset your course, your career. I'll admit, there were a couple of fortunate coincidences, but... They forged your views, personality, even that skepticism that pisses me off so much. Clearly what they want is for you to be their mayor. Molding you like a clay figurine. Fuck. I need to remember who recommended SSI to me. Your memories. Can't even trust those anymore. <laughs> if that's true, I'll never... I have to find him. Blue caters to the most sensitive palate. Got no idea how we go about doing that. First, I'll find him. Then I'll find whoever's behind this. Pull the curtain back on these motherfuckers and show them what's what. You kidding? How would you expect to do that? You want to take on a shadowy organization that controls your mind, anticipates your every move, programs it. There's gotta be a way. You don't stand a kitten's chance in the dog pound. Sorry. My god. I have to tell Liz! Wife knows everything. Liz? How? Figured it out at some point. Elizabeth? No, 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 no. She would have said something. She feared for your life, your daughter's life. Who could blame her? Nah. No. She's never kept anything from me. And she doesn't scare easily, believe me. Got an anonymous hollow telling her to keep her mouth shut. So she did what the perfect candidate's wife would do. Protected her family. I won't let them get away with this. 
Is there anything else I can do? You've done enough already, V. All that's left to do is wait. So what now? Still want to be mayor? Well, I'm not about to give up. I didn't... I'll wait for my window. An opportunity. Then make my move. Isn't that exactly what they want? Well, I'll give them more than they bargained for. The same with the Aredis. Take care, V. Good luck. And good night. So, thoughts? Hmm, somehow I doubt it's people who are behind this. So aliens? Very funny. You're too young to remember this, but not so long ago, people talked about rogue AIs prowling cyberspace. So, not aliens. Doesn't matter who. What matters is that guy decided to take up the gauntlet. My man.